Hello. Xin chào. This is Kyle. And this is Chang. From HelloVietnamese.app, we provide Vietnamese lessons with simple and clear English explanations. Join us, and you can speak Vietnamese in no time. Though that said, you know, Chang, you know, it's almost 2022. I wanted to ask, uh, what are you doing for New Year's? In Vietnam, we not only have a one New Year holiday, but we have a two New Year holidays. One is the Western New Year holiday. I mean, it is according to the solo calendar, and it is similar to other countries in the West. And you also have another holiday, and it is the famous Tết holiday. And you may already know it will be celebrated uh, according to the lunar calendar. So in Vietnam, we not only have one, but two New Year holidays. So wait, does that mean that uh, for the new year coming up, uh, we'll be having another holiday here? Or is that no big deal here? Actually, for the new year coming up, it is not a big deal here because for the Western New Year holiday, for the solar New Year holiday, uh, normally Vietnamese only have one day off, which is January the 1st. And because we only have one day off, normally Young Vietnamese people will just go outside to have a dinner with their friends or go shopping. There may be some kind of music festivals here in in Vietnam, not this year because of the pandemic, but I remember several years ago when I was in Ho Chi Minh City during the Western New Year holiday, I I often went to some music festival. It's my friends but that's it it's not really a, a big deal in in vietnam well that surprised me because uh, i mean it, so again um, my mother's japanese uh for us in japan new year is basically our biggest holiday holiday of the year so uh you know since uh what since it's not a big deal here like what is the big uh holiday here is that is that the the tet that you mentioned the Tet holiday is is much more important holiday because normally in in Tet holiday Vietnamese can take at least four or five days off from work and children don't have to go to school and normally because it is near Sunday and Saturday so normally people will have a continuous one week or or ten days off and I because I I am learning Japanese. So I also understand that before before in Japan, the Lunar New Year holiday was more important. But after, but recently, the, the Western New, New Year holiday became more important. But in Vietnamese and Chinese culture, the Lunar New Year holiday is still more important. And uh, it is different from the Western New Year holiday. In, uh, in Lunar New Year holiday, I mean, State holiday, uh, Vietnamese will go back to their hometown, so uh, it will be very quiet in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh cities during state holiday in Vietnam. I see. Well, okay. Well, you know, you mentioned uh, food before uh, for uh, you know the Western New Year, so I'm curious. Like, is there any special New Year's food that the Vietnamese eat here? Then not any special food for for Western New Year holiday. I mean the solar New Year holiday, but for that holidays we have some special cake which is called bánh trưng, bánh dày, bánh tét. Have you ever heard any of them? Uh, I've I've heard the name. I don't think I've actually had that. Uh, it, what is it? Is it like uh, rice or is it bread? What is it? For bánh trưng, you know, in the middle of the cake we have some some meat and some are the food, but for bánh dày, we only have a rice. It is made only from rice, not anything else. How does it taste then? Traditionally, bánh trưng, we will have some salt into that, so it is a little bit salty. But uh, recently, people also put some sugar into it, so we have a salty bánh trưng and sweet bánh trưng. So it's like kind of like a, a sweet rice cake. Is, is, it, is it like mochi at all? Is it like mochi? It is quite similar to mochi, but uh, you know, bánh trưng is very big. It is like the size of it is, is like a mook. 
Mochi is very small. And I, I think you have never heard of that. We have a story about bánh chưng and bánh dày. And actually, because in, in the past, I mean, many years ago, thousand years ago, people believe that the sky has the round shape and the earth has the square shape. So actually, bánh chưng is the symbol of the earth and bánh dày is the symbol of the sky. So, and, and you know, the, the sky is white. Uh, that's why bánh dày is in white color. It is only made from rice. And bánh chưng has the, it is covered by uh, leaves. So it has green, so it's very similar to the earth. Okay, so j just to review then, so bánh chưng would be that square green rice cake then, right? Bánh chưng, okay. And what was the other one? Was it, was it bánh dày? Again, it's bánh dày. Bain Zai, and that's white and sort of circle shaped. Very interesting. Okay. In southern Vietnam, you also have another kind of bánh. It is bánh tét. Bánh tét. Okay. But I think, but I think I don't want to overwhelm our audience. So uh, that's maybe enough for all the uh, special food for Vietnamese state holiday. Okay. Well, well I'm curious because uh, you know in Japan. Uh, we have these little bamboo uh, things that we uh, adorn our doorways with uh, called karomatsu. And uh, I'm curious, like, you know, is there any sort of like special New Year decoration for Vietnam then? It is quite similar to Chinese, but uh, in the past, we have what is called uh, uh, five crackers. In, in the past, normally in New Year holiday, in the New Year Eve, in, in, in Lunar New Year Eve, Vietnamese win place some kind of five crackers mm. but uh, after that because it was it turned out to be a little bit dangerous so now Vietnamese government already banned it so uh, in in new year holiday in some cities we will have a, some kind of fireworks but it uh, it doesn't always happen because it is a controversial topic because in, in some people's opinion, fireworks is a little bit not efficient use of money. I see. We, it, it, they should put money for some poor people instead of playing some kind of fireworks. So I have no opinion about that. I see. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, it would be a kind of a waste of money to do fireworks, but I mean, you know, it's, it is nice. Well, you know, if we don't do fireworks, then uh, what else do we use then? Like, is there any... Um, like, is there like kind of a ball dropping or is there like, um, you know, I heard in China, there's actually lucky money. Like, do you guys do lucky money here too? Uh, yes, we, we do lucky money too. But the only thing which is still very popular in, in China, but not in Vietnam, is because in, in China, in Lunar New Year holiday, they have what is called uh, parallel sentences, parallel sentences, and they can hang it in front of the houses. But in Vietnam nowadays, people don't do that, but we do have a lucky money. Okay. So in Luna, New York holiday, if you meet any children, you should give them uh, lucky money. And if you meet me, you should also give me lucky money. <laughs> well, I mean, I need lucky money too. I'm still a child at heart. I mean, I deserve it. Okay, so maybe I will prepare some lucky money for you <laughs> and you will prepare some lucky money for, for me. And hopefully, uh, you gave me... Uh, mm, much more money than I did for you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay. Okay. Okay then. Well, you know, I you know, I, I know we're talking a little bit about uh, Lunar New Year, but like, uh, you know, if if we are greeting 2022, uh, how do we uh, how do we celebrate that? Like, you know, what do we say specifically to uh, say Happy New Year? Okay, you can use the phrase Chúc mừng năm mới. Chúc mừng năm mới. Okay, so like, would that... And mới is new, mới is new, and năm is year, so năm mới means new year. Okay, so a uh, uh, quick question. So um, it, is this the same nam as in uh, Vietnam? Oh, no, it is năm, uh, nam and năm, Vietnam, it is nam and năm, it is, uh, for, for Vietnam, the A sound is similar to the A in the word hat. In English, hat or cat. Okay. Uh, in English, but for num, the sound in the middle, it is similar to the word cut, cut or subtle. 
Okay. Uh, culture. It's like, uh, okay. okay. Nam mới. So, nam mới. And like, so, mm. and this, so it's, it's spelled like moi, like it's, it's pronounced mới. Is that correct? Mới. Mm, mới. Okay. Okay. For mới, I mean, the er uh sound is similar to a cup of tea, a cup of tea, a piece of cake, the okay, word er uh in English, er uh plus e, so we have a mới. So, so the A and nam and the O and mới, like they're very similar sounds then, aren't they? Nam mới. Nam, nam mới. Okay. Oh, so like, so, so chuck, is it like, is this like the CH as in like chuck or like nunchucks? Chuck mừng. Uh, CH in Vietnamese is very similar to CH in English, like in teacher. But in, in English, we push, we push. Uh, mouth forward and it has more air but the uh, chuk in vietnam chuk in vietnamese the ch it has less air okay okay so c h u c so ch and then mung so like m u n g so like it's like so this this u sounds like uh the u in moon right it is more like the u in book the the short u sounds in english chuk Mung nam mới. Okay, so chuk mung nam mới. Am I saying it right? Okay, you say it correctly. And and chuk mung in Vietnamese, uh, it is the same meanings with congratulation. And people in Vietnamese you chuk mung before birthday, before New Year, before in any promotion or anything. But for now, for for this lesson, I think. Uh, you just need to remember it as a set phrase. Chúc mừng năm mới. It means Happy New Year. Okay, so one more time for me. So it's chúc mừng năm mới, right? Yeah. Okay, well, very cool. Well, just to review then. So, uh, you know, even though the New Year's coming up, uh, you know, it's not a big deal here, right? It's like uh, the bigger deal is... Uh, Lunar near your ear or Tet, as you said, right? Mm. Okay. And uh, during Tet, you guys eat uh, rice cakes uh, called uh, Bain Chung and Bain Zai, which like represent the earth and the moon, as you said, right? No, no, not the earth and the moon. It's the earth and the sky. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. All right. And uh, so you got to get a week off, but unfortunately, we don't get a week off uh, here in... Uh, the Western New Year, which, you know, which is unfortunate, but I mean, I suppose it's a different country. Though, uh, I mean, are, are you sure I can't get lucky money for uh, the solar year ending? Mm, I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, anyone can give you lucky money during solar New Year holiday. Hopefully you are lucky, but I have never got any <laughs> lucky money during solar New Year holiday. Okay, okay. Well, okay, no problem then. I mean, I... Just thought I'd ask, uh, you know, it'd be, be nice to, you know, <laughs> pay uh, rent a lot easier that way. But okay. And uh, so when we want to say Happy New Year, we say uh, Chuk Mung Nam Mui. Is that correct? Chuk Mung Nam Mui. Okay. With, with the Nam being different from the Vietnamese Vietnam Nam. Okay. I see. Well, you know, thank you for everything, Chung. Uh, you know, I wish you a happy 2022. And, uh, you know, for all our listeners, uh, that's all for today. And, you know, I hope you learned how the new year is greeted in Vietnam. You know, I hope to see you in our next episode. And if you want to learn more, please visit hellovietnamese.app. Thank you and chúc mừng năm mới. Chúc mừng năm mới and tạm biệt. Tạm biệt. <laughs>